Look at that reflection in there. Good morning, guys. Welcome to another beautiful day in Manila. I think this could be, weather-wise, the best day we've had so far. Let me do a little weather check. I mean, yeah, come on. Look at, the, look at that blue sky. Beautiful. A little plane coming in over there. And, as always, greeted in the mornings by this beautiful view of the Venice Mall. Wow, it's a super hot one today as well. Very hot. I think the last couple of days are the first few days here on the trip. We've been, um, oh, is the sun behind me? Oh, lovely, I'm gonna sit on our little table and chairs. These cha table and chairs have survived really well. I can't remember exactly where we bought these from, but we just kept it super simple out here with a little bit of furniture. But yeah, the first few days here have been more kind of cloudy and gray skies, and we've already had quite a lot of rain, heavy rain. So it's nice to wake up today to some blue skies. I'm so nervous having my phone in my pocket here. Like, oh, look, look down here. My phone would just, my phone was here in this pocket and it could just easily go. I'm super scared of that. I'm gonna put my phone on the table. I also wanna share with you something because maybe I'll flip this way. I'm trying to find these vlogging angles. Uh, it's a little bit dark, you can't really see me. Something that I've been doing in the UK as well, but it's way easier to do here because we get the sunlight in the morning facing our balcony. So we get a lot of natural sunlight. And the reason I'm on my phone while talking to you is because I put an Instagram reel on a few days ago. By the way, please do follow us on Instagram. If you're enjoying seeing our trip here in the Philippines, Lucy and I, wow, huge plane. Lucy and I are both posting daily stories over on our Instagrams and loads of reels, which are short mini videos. So if the vlogs aren't quite enough for you every other day, which is how we're uploading at the moment, then please follow us on Instagram. You can follow along with our trip a little bit more closely and in more real time. But I put a reel on the other day, seven reasons to get sunlight in the morning. And I'll quickly read them out to you because I think it's important to share stuff like this because if you've been watching the vlogs in the UK, you'll know that myself and Lucy have been on a mission for like self-improvement, feeling the best we can, getting more healthy, getting more fit. And getting morning sunlight is actually super good for you. I'll read these seven reasons quickly. It can fight insomnia and seasonal affective disorder, which is where your mood can change with the weather, which I definitely have. It can reduce stress, helps you sleep better, fights depression and anxiety. It's a mood booster. You're less likely to get sunburnt because your skin is more prepared for sun exposure. There's some science behind that one. And it can kickstart productivity for the day. Letting your body, also the reason we don't wear sunglasses anymore, we've ditched sunglasses, because there's certain things that getting into your eyes and into your body wakes you up. If you wear sunglasses, your body still thinks you're kind of ready for sleep, keeps you at a constant level of being tired. So ditch the sunglasses, guys. Just wanted to start the vlog with that little, um Little bit of time on the balcony, little health tip. And now I believe we are heading into BGC. We're gonna grab some coffee. Another day, <laughs> another day of Coda loving the elevator. Why are you going to ground floor? I don't know. I want to quickly also show you guys the car seat we've got for Coda. It's a Volkswagen rear facing car seat, super safe. It's got the Isofix points as well, just down here. Let me show you. And that basically locks into the car seat, so it's really secure. We've also got the leg down here, which again gives another level of safety. Because we saw some comments saying, I don't think we filmed Coda in the car in the first few days. And people were saying, oh, please, um, please get a car seat. Because I'm not sure, I think it is now law in the Philippines or in some areas it is. But I think previously, and I'm just going on what I've heard, I'm not entirely sure. I think previously it hasn't been law in some years or some areas or something um, to actually have kids in a car seat in the Philippines. Yeah, no, it's like a number one priority for us. When Bob said about this car, I was like, can we please make sure we've got a car seat in it? Because it's so important. Yeah, we just parked. And hey, how you doing? Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> so nice to meet so many of you guys who watch the vlogs as we're out and about. It really has been such a nice welcome back here. Thank you. We've met a ton of you guys who watch the vlogs. Even, I think as soon as we landed, someone said, welcome back, I'll watch your videos. So nice to meet so many of you. Also a really nice breeze out today. It's nice, yeah. Super nice. Keeping us cool, it was 28.5, which we saw in the car, which, to be honest, we have been used to that in England. It's definitely been 28 degrees, 100%. But it's the humidity here. But the humidity's yeah, taken away humidity. slightly. Look at us British folk talking about the weather again. I know. It's all we do. Okay. But the, the wind takes a, a bit of the humidity out of the air somehow, so. Feeling quite comfortable at the moment. Ooh. 
remembers of this coffee shop. This really feels like a blast from the past, this one. This is, we used to come to this Toby's in 2018. 2018, four years ago. And this was a favorite of ours. Okay, we've come into Landmark, and you may think, why well, are you in Makassi? That was quick. We're in BGC still. There's now a Landmark in BGC, um, and we needed to pick up a few things for the apartment that we don't have, so a chopping board, a cheese grater, a saucepan, because I was having to boil pasta in a frying pan. <laughs> this much water in it would evaporate, I'd have to keep topping it up again. Not ideal. And some spoons and things, so really random, but it means that Coda can have a nap in the cold, because I think this is the hottest day so far and we want to still cover him in clothes for mosquito rights and for the sun but he's going to get quite hot so we've got the fan and things on him so we need to kind of regulate his temperature um, so yeah he's having a nap we're doing a bit of shopping and then we're going to take a walk around BGC so today really we just wanted to get some steps in we wanted to do a little bit of walking and have a little bit of a I suppose are we still asleep? You're waking him up okay you if go you ahead you go ahead Apparently, Lucy, Lucy says I shout when I vlog I don't, I don't think I mean to, I think you just train yourself to speak a little bit louder when you vlog because of noise around you and stuff like that. So if anyone's ever seen us vlogging in public and it sounds like we're shouting at a camera, that is why. Yeah, we wanted to get some steps in and have a little walk around some of the BGC areas that we haven't yet been to. And we've just come across St. Luke's Hospital, which has, oh, there, there's the guy, hey. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> How are you doing? I was just thinking about That's you earlier. So funny. I was like, we saw your video today. Which one? Yeah, um, the one I uploaded yesterday. I think so. You said some nice things about us. So thank you. Okay, that's hilarious. We were just watching this guy's vlog this morning. Mer Jim, good to see you. It's Mer Gim. Mer Gim. <laughs> oh, it's a hard Thank G, yeah. you. Mer Gim, perfect. So I did say it wrong in the vlog. Yeah. I remember when we first well, watched your vlog. Like, <laughs> so Mer Gim, thank you. Um, I know a lot of you guys will know him making some very very cool vlogs here and we just literally bumped into each other yeah. walking around the corner and then we've been having a chat and you're going to join us for lunch wow amazing we're, right we're trying out a manor it's great. you haven't had it before no i haven't well amazing. i've just moved well i technically haven't even moved here yeah no Tomorrow congrats moving, on the condo you here. thank you so much yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right cool let's go okay mergim has just gone to drop his scooter back um and then we're gonna have a little bit of food okay change of plan they don't open until five o'clock and times. it is four o'clock now and we sadly do need food right now so i think it's gonna have to be a shake shack <laughs> grab something quick yeah. do you wanna yeah go ahead oh, look at this here we go double smoke shack that is a work of art there you yeah. can't go wrong okay and i'm trying out their new one which is the hot chicken is that the hot chicken? Yeah, the hot chicken. So it's dark meat, it's chicken thighs with like a spicy fried crumb, no, batter, uh, some pickles and some coleslaw. So let's give it a go. I'm not sure how spicy it's going to be because sometimes in the Philippines they say hot, but I think the level of heat in the UK versus... I'm trying to vlog here. This guy's moving chairs around. <laughs> you should know. <laughs> um, yeah, sometimes the level of heat here isn't as hot as in the UK. Like the Jolly Bee we tried in England, well, that blew my head off, but the spicy Jolly Bee here is manageable. So let's see. Mm. Nice. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's a good level of heat, very manageable, very delicious. Yum. And Coda's just woken up. All right, great to hang out, finally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so naturally, just yeah, around the corner. Really nice. really I couldn't believe you. that. Yeah. Good burgers, so. Cool. And I'm sure we will see you around BGC again. Okay. Again. Yes. Because it's so small, we can walk everywhere <laughs> and we bump into <laughs> everyone. <laughs> Absolutely. Enjoy the new condo. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Thank thank you. Best. Come around, come around. Once it's all done. Sounds good, sounds good. Oh. <laughs> that was so nice to randomly bump into Merg in there and have a good shake shack. There's never not a good time for a shake shack. Just before we bumped into him on that corner, I was about to start talking about something um, that was just crazy for us. We just sort of were having a little bit of a moment and we were just looking at St. Luke's Hospital. We've just come across St. Luke's Hospital, which has, oh, there, there's the guy. And for us, that is a place that has such a special meaning to us. And it felt so surreal because 
It was a place where, when I found out I was pregnant with Coda, when we were living at the Grand Hamptons down this way, it was like a five minute walk to St Luke's and I think I was only six or seven weeks pregnant, I went for my first scan. I was on my own. I tried to film a little bit for him, but they wouldn't really let me. And um, I heard his heartbeat for the first time. I saw his little shrimp, mini shrimp body. They called him a shrimp. That was not my words, <laughs> but he did look like a shrimp. And I, I managed to record the heartbeat and show George outside the hospital. Um, and then we had our second scan here. We had loads of blood tests. We had all the stuff up to 20 weeks, which is when we left in that hospital. And it was so surreal. I remember, do you remember I had to do that fast for like, 12 hours I wasn't allowed to eat or drink or something like that and then at like 10 or 11 p.m. at night I went and got all my blood taken and they did all my tests and things to check that he was a healthy baby and it's so surreal that now that baby was right in front of that hospital as, a, as an eight month old that's massive a huge baby that crawls and like talks a little bit to us and like says dada mama and that's crazy as well <laughs> it's like I'm telling a horror story but it's actually a really happy story I'm telling you but it's Whoa. like it was a dark and stormy night. Um, yeah, and it's just amazing. It's, so, it, it's always going to be that place. So we found out we're having our first baby. We found out we're going to be parents. I know you do like the pee on a stick thing and you're pregnant at that point. But once you have an actual doctor telling you in like a white coat and you're there in like a clinical place in a hospital and they're saying you are pregnant, that is your baby. That's when it all feels real and so surreal. So, so mental seeing that again with him as an eight month old baby. So yeah, very special.